Hi, in this recording, I'm going to walk you through um, a checklist of your Unit 5 assignments, as well as how to complete the first as graded assignment in Unit 5. So if you go ahead and click on Grades, and we'll scroll down to where you see Unit 5. You will complete all the checkpoint quizzes as you go through your reading lessons. Read a section, take the one point quiz. It's usually just one question, pretty easy. When you're finished completing all of your reading assignments and the checkpoint quizzes, you will complete the 5.09 quiz, mics and mixing, which then brings us to your first graded assignment the 5.10 graded assignment. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So click on content and we'll navigate to unit five. I don't know if you can see it behind my head here, but unit five, scroll down to 5.0, 5.10, 5.10, all the way down, and here we have the graded assignment. Now, when you open this up, it's just going to be a drop box for you to submit your work. But you will notice this, these digital materials, which is the assignment. So you'll go ahead and open up the graded assignment. If you are in Chrome, it will download down here in this left-hand side. If you are in Firefox, up here in this right-hand side. So once you have the assignment downloaded, you will then come down here and com start completing the assignment. So question one, which type of microphone is the most similar to a speaker? So you're going to find all of these answers directly in the reading, directly in the reading. So if we come back to the course and we go to unit five, you will go back to where you completed your reading and find where it talked about microphones or transducers. Where did it talk about this parts of a microphone? Where in the reading did you learn about um, a microphone being the most similar to a speaker. There is a specific answer and it is directly in the reading. Which type of microphone uses phantom power? So once again, you will find that in the reading. Clue, if it you're learning about phantom power, it might be added there. It might be found there. Question three, which type of connector is usually used for headphones? There is a specific type. You're going to find that in your reading lessons. What is a disadvantage of omnidirectional mics? Once again, you're going to find your answer directly from the reading, not from Google, from the reading. Question five, you are actually going to use the internet. Specifically tells you to use the internet. So when you're given those specifications, please follow them. You're going to choose a microphone. So you're going to pick one microphone type you learned about. You're going to do a search and you're going to answer these four questions. So did you choose dynamic, ribbon, condenser, or electric condenser? And you'll answer these questions here. When it asks you to explain, please explain. In all of these questions, make sure that you are using complete sentences, capital letters, and periods. Question six, you will find this answer directly in the reading. Question seven, you will find this directly in the reading. It is worth six points, so don't skip this one. And question eight, this one, it's asking you for a Creative Commons license condition. I'm gonna help you out there with that word condition, a specific condition, and you'll find that directly in the reading. So once you get through these eight questions, you're gonna go ahead and save your work in your audio engineering folder and then you'll come back in the course, click on Tools, Assignments, and go down till you find the 5.10 graded assignment. You'll then add your file. Once it's loaded, you'll click down here, the blue Submit button. If you have any questions, 
go ahead and send me a message. Have a great day.